Chapter Eleven, Mrs. Vernon to Lady De Courcy, Churchill. I really grow quite uneasy, my dear mother, about Reginald, from witnessing the very rapid increase of Lady Susan's influence. They are now on terms of the most particular friendship, frequently engaged in long conversations together, and she has contrived by the most artful coquetry to subdue his judgment for her own purposes. It is impossible to see the intimacy between them so very soon established without some alarm. Though I can hardly suppose Lady Susan's views extend to marriage. I wish you could get Reginald home again under any plausible pretense. He is not at all disposed to leave us, and I have given him as many hints of my father's precarious state of health as common decency will allow me to do in my own house. Her power over him must now be boundless, as she has affected all his former ill opinion. And persuaded him not entirely to forget, but to justify her conduct. Mister Smith's account of her proceedings at Langford, where he accused her of having made Mister Mainwaring and a young man engaged to Miss Mainwaring distractedly in love with her, which Reginald firmly believed when he came to Church Hill, is now he is persuaded only a scandalous invention. He has told me so in a warmth of manner which spoke his regret at having ever believed the contrary himself. How sincerely do I grieve that she ever entered this house! I had always looked forward to her coming with uneasiness, but very far it was from originating in anxiety for Reginald. I expected a most disagreeable companion for myself, but could not imagine that my brother would be in the smallest danger of being captivated by a woman with whose principles he was so well acquainted, and whose character he so heartily despised. If you can get him away, it will be a good thing. Very affectionately, Catherine Vernon. 